if the Bible is true, and I believe it is, and many believe the Bible, and many have believed the Bible, many have get, shed their blood for the very Word of God. The Bible says that there is no hope without Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. That upon death, there is an afterlife. The Bible speaks about an afterlife. And that the afterlife of the Bible, plain and simple, is there's a heaven and there's a hell. That if the Bible's correct, are you willing to put your odds against God and his word? That the Bible says the only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. That the Bible says without faith and trust in Jesus, then your option is hell. That the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. Now the world will say, all go to heaven. But the world is a liar. And if the Bible's true, life and death is in the hands of God. And the afterlife of heaven or hell is what you do with Jesus Christ. That if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Thou shalt be saved. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, God will reject you. There is no going to heaven without Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only means, the only access, the only way to God. God doesn't care if you go to church. There is no concern of baptism. There's no gratification of being a Baptist or Catholic, Presbyterian. Your death and the biblical afterlife, if the Bible's correct, what you do with Jesus Christ will determine where you will spend eternity. And you cannot reject Jesus Christ, who is God, and expect to end up in God's heaven. Now we all know heaven 
is God. We all know God's heaven. And we can't fathom in our pea brains, well, if I reject God to Jesus Christ, I can't get to God's heaven because I rejected God. And you cannot get and stand before God all eternity when you reject God. It's that plain and simple. Not everybody gets to heaven. Only those that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And if the Bible's correct, and you reject Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, who is God, is going to reject you. So when you tell God, Jesus Christ, while you are living, no, I don't want to listen to the preacher, no, I don't want the Bible, no, I don't want to believe, no, I don't want to hear it. No, 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 no. And then when you stand before God at the judgment, and God let me into heaven, no. But God, no. But God, I, no. God, I was a good person, no. God, I went to church, no. What you tell Jesus living, God will tell you. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Listen, if your preacher doesn't preach about hell, I call to question your preacher. Maybe he doesn't want to tell you about the place he's going. Listen, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 tells us that there are preachers that are of Satan. If the Bible's correct. But are you willing to bet it all? Are you willing to go against the odds that the Bible is God's word? And that the Bible is the standard? Are you willing to bet what a professional gambler will not bet on? There are bets that a professional camper will say, nope, don't want it. Don't like the odds. And then a professional gambler can bet on another horse, another team, another event. But when you are looking at heaven and hell, there's no other horse. There's no other event. There's no other program. It's heaven through Jesus Christ, and it's hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. There's no other. The power of life and death is in God. And the power of the eternal life, the life after death, and heaven and hell is in you. And what you do with Jesus before you die. And if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus alone, and your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life, when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. That simple. 
And if you've chosen to reject Jesus and die, the Bible says the rich man died, and in hell he lifted up his eyes in torment. Now you can be so foolish and you can say to self, well, I'll tell you what, you know what? I like what that preacher's saying. But you know, I got some wild oaks to sow. I've got the gusto. I'm going for the life. I'll get saved later. You may not have a later. You know how many people die with a to-do list that they never finished? You know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I have to do this, i got to run to the store, i got to get eggs, and death stops them. How do you know death stops life? Have you ever been to a dead person's house? and seen the doctor appointment cards on the refrigerator? I got a doctor's appointment. I've got a dentist appointment. I got to go for x-rays. Not if death comes. And if you think, well, I'll get saved later, and you don't have a later, you made a foolish decision. I'm going to do it. It's not faith and belief. Faith and belief is actually doing. I mean, going to heaven is not should have, could have, would have. It's Lord Jesus Christ. You're the only one. There's nothing else. You are the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. Nothing else. There's no religion. There is no works. There is nothing I can do. There's no nothing they can do. Nothing mom can do. It's all what God done. Upon the cross that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. If you have believed that, then you're saved. Well, you know, I give 10% of my check. I give to this local charity. I go to the soup kitchen and I feed the people there. And that's all you do. You'll die and go to hell. I go to church every Sunday morning, maybe Sunday night and Wednesday. It's, and that's all you do. You'll die and go to hell. There are church people in hell. There are good people in hell. There are pastor and priest in hell. The only one you will not find in hell is that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. It's that plain and simple. There are no Americans in heaven. There are no Baptists in heaven. Only those that have been washed in the blood of Jesus go to heaven. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me because I have put my faith and trust in Jesus. And without Jesus, your afterlife your eternal life will be hell. 
if there's one thing everybody has in common in hell, is they rejected Jesus Christ. Hell is not prejudice. Hell will take any sex, any age, any race, any religion. But hell cannot take those that have put their faith and trust in Jesus. You will not find in hell a born again Christian. And just because you because you call yourself a Christian does not make it so. Listen, I can go around and call myself a chocolate chip cookie all I want. I'm not a chocolate chip cookie. In order to be a chocolate chip cookie, I've got to have flour, chocolate chips, la la la. I ain't got it. In order to be a Christian, it's not what church you involved in. In order to be a Christian, you have to be washed in the Lamb of God, the blood of Jesus Christ alone. Nothing else. You see, a chocolate chip cookie has got flour, sugar, eggs, chocolate chips. Salvation of God has the blood of Jesus Christ. And nothing else. You mean Sunday? No. You mean that? No. Salvation of God is only the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing else. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. <coughs> Now, when you try to add to it is finished a little religion, that's an artificial preservative that God doesn't take. When you try to add to it is finished, well, I give money. God don't take money. God takes the blood of Jesus Christ. God don't take works. Unless those works are the works of his son upon Calvary and the finished work of the merit that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's the work of Jesus Christ that will get you to heaven and nothing else. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. No blood, no entrance. Not the blood of the bulls and goats and rams, but the blood of God, Acts 20:28. 20, the sinless blood, the holy blood of God, Acts 20:28. 20, Nothing cleanses me of my sin but the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. The only way to get to heaven is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation of God is a bloody salvation. It's a bloody sacrifice of God himself upon the cross. It's the blood of God, not the water. It's the blood of God, not the works of man. It's the blood of God, not cash, check, or money order. It's not you being good. The Bible says there's none that do it good. No, not one. You can't be, you cannot do what the Bible says you are not. 
and you cannot. You cannot override what the Bible says and win. The Bible, if it's correct, has set the standard. And the standard of God through the word is that Jesus said of himself, he is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the way. That's the foundation. That is the salvation of God, Jesus Christ. You will not get to heaven without Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, you'll end up in a place called hell. And there for all eternity. Eternity has no clock. It has no calendar. And you can go to heaven through faith and trust in Jesus. God is not willing that any should perish. God wants you to go to heaven. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And that's only through the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You cannot ignore God. God is not to be ignored. God has set forth the standard, and that standard's in Jesus Christ. And one day, you'll stand before God. The Bible, if it's correct, the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. You better meet him on the blood and the finished work of Jesus Christ. Because without Jesus Christ, you're not going to meet a please God. What pleases God is the suffering and the death of His Son upon Calvary's cross. You do not please God without Jesus. Without the blood of Jesus Christ, there is no heaven. And the Bible says, if it's true, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Well, you know, preacher, I don't believe that. Don't tell me. Tell God at the judgment. Tell God when you're standing before him. I didn't believe in Jesus. And God will tell you, I don't believe you go to heaven. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's in the Bible. There's more in the Bible than judge not. I let my light shine. Jesus turned the water into wine. And there's more in the Bible. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. And those words were spoken about Jesus.
very words that man reject will be in heaven. So if you don't like the Bible, you don't love Jesus, don't expect to go to heaven. Because heaven's surrounded by the word and heaven's surrounded by Jesus. If you don't like Jesus in the Bible, you won't like heaven. You won't like hell either, but... Salvation is only by Jesus Christ. You cannot get to heaven on wishful thinking. You cannot think yourself into heaven. You cannot will yourself into heaven. You must Come through the blood of Jesus Christ. Only through the blood of Jesus Christ can you and will you be able to spend eternity with God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. The entrance into heaven is through the door. And Jesus said, he is the door. The way into heaven is the way that Jesus said. And Jesus said, he is the way. Straight is the gate that leadeth into life. And few enter thereat. But broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there is no hope in wishful thinking everybody was going to go to heaven. It's not true. Those that put their faith and trust in Jesus. The vile and wickedest sinner can be saved. There is no sin that Jesus Christ cannot cleanse you of. There is no wickedness. There is no vileness. There is no crime. That Jesus can't cleanse you. That Jesus said, the Bible speaks of, John the Baptist said, the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. He didn't say take away the sin of the world, except all your sins can be cleansed and washed. Confess. Confess your sins, and he is just and able to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is not willing that any should perish. God doesn't want to throw you into hell. You throw yourself into hell by rejecting God's gift, God's love, which is Jesus Christ. The only begotten Son of God. Well, preacher, you know, I'm an atheist. I don't believe. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms, the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You're a fool. I didn't say that. The Bible said that. I'm just pleased to call you biblically a fool. And truly, there are no atheists. You believe in something. 
If you got car keys, you believe your car keys are going to start your car, you're not an atheist. You're a dummy. Bible says fool. I'll say dummy. You say, well, you know, preacher, I think Mary. My church teaches Mary. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. She's a female. And if you're so stupid that you can't tell between a male and a female, you've had too much college education. You need to get out of the public school system and get homeschooled. Because in the beginning, God made them male and female, no other option. This, well, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. That's just defiled of the Word of God. That's your education system and your government defiling what the Word of God says. And how stupid you are. As much as the fool has said in his heart that there's no God. And the Bible says to that fool, prepare to meet thy God. I don't believe you're going to meet him. Imagine every atheist standing before God that he didn't believe. And imagine that atheist telling God, I don't believe in you. You know, the Bible says God will laugh. God will laugh at the foolishness of the wicked man. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Plain and simple. Only Jesus saves. Only Jesus saves. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. No other, nothing other, but Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You say, well, preacher, you're too loud. I say, your DJ's going home. Your musical entertainment has stopped. And I'm preaching. And I'm exalting Jesus Christ. The devil's packed up and going home, and the word of God stands sure. It's okay, because I'm standing at 80 decimers. I've got a sound meter over here, and my sound is as the sound as highway traffic. You can check it out. You can check it out right here, right now. You can check on our website. You're not calling the police because of the volume of the preacher. You're calling the police because of what the preacher says. And the preacher believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Farmers market don't know how to handle their vendors. Speak unkind, unrude. Hey, don't sure don't act like it. The very fact is, if you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, salvation can be wrought in Jesus. And foolishness can be wrought down the street. Wherefore, by their fruit she shall know them. I hear the fruits of a dead. 
and I speak of the fruits of life. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because I have put my faith and trust in Jesus. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That you might obtain life. The life that's in Jesus. And the Bible says you're going to get scorners. That's okay. Still preach the word. The Bible says they're going to hate you. Still exalt Jesus Christ. They hated Jesus. They nailed him to the cross. They decapitated Paul. They beheaded John the Baptist. They crucified Peter. All these men spoke the word of God and they were hated. just makes the Bible more true that Jesus Christ is only the one that can save your soul. The words of purity and the words of hope by the blessed hope. And that's through Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ saves. 